Relationships can be so tricky. Understanding how to build broken relationships? I mean, think about it. Nobody wants to have a broken relationship, but yet we are connected to so many broken relationships. First part about it is we stay in those broken relationships, not understanding our worth and our value. Right, We choose to stay in a broken relationship instead of getting out. Not to please ourselves because we're unhappy. You can't possibly be in a broken relationship and be happy and be at peace. You may have happiness sometimes, but there is not 24 hours around the clock happiness and peace, which is very important to living a healthy life which is very important to live in a healthy life. We all say we want to live a healthy life. We live in a healthy life. We happy, happy, happy. But internally, deep down inside, you are unhappy. You are miserable, sad, angry, frustrated, depressed, lonely. And you just have all these emotions that are going on inside of you. And instead of addressing those emotions, and instead of addressing those emotions within yourself, then you lash out to other people. Then other people become your problem. That's how we end up with broken relationships. I'm going to give you a few different tips and strategies that you can use if you are dealing with a broken relationship. Because it is time for us to be in healthy relationships. It is time for us to walk in our purpose and be at peace. We were created with a gift and a purpose. If we are utilizing our time in a negative way, our energy in a negative way with negative people and negative things and negative thoughts, then how are you ever supposed to truly live the life that God created you to live? Let's add another challenge on top of another challenge. No, it is time to get intentional about the things that you are doing and really begin to walk in your purpose, building solid relationships and letting the ones go, go. People are in your life for a reason and a season. And sometimes that season just might be up. I know that you don't want it to be up. I know that you really love that person. But guess what? Love don't fix relationships. Sometimes that love can be dangerous and cause more harm to the relationship than good. So you need to make a decision in the relationships that you are in. Is it causing you more harm or is it more good? Is it really worth fixing that relationship or is it really worth letting it go? All right, and so one of the things that you can start with to see if a relationship is good for you or not. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a piece of paper, fold it in half, and on one side, you write everything that's good in the relationship. On the other side, you write everything that's bad in that relationship. No matter who that relationship is with, with your kids, with your spouse, with your friend, with your co-worker, with your mom, your siblings, your uncle, your auntie, it doesn't matter who the relationship is with, okay? Doesn't matter. Everything good about the relationship and everything bad about the relationship. Once you see which one outweighs the other, now you have to see, you have to see who's causing more of the problems in the relationship. Is it you? Because you got to look in the mirror. Or is it the other person? All right. And so now you, let's get down to it. So these are a couple of ways that you can kind of try to figure that out. Right. What are the boundaries in the relationship? Do you even have boundaries in the relationship? Boundaries are so important. Some things are off limits. Right. Like, for instance, my wife and my kids off limits. Nobody can come and tell me anything about my wife. Be like, oh, Monique, you know what? I seen your wife over there at the store and she was, and she was just in there screaming and hollering, yelling at everybody. Just what was going on? You can't come and tell me that. I'm not even finna let you keep getting a sentence out your mouth once I see that what's finna come out your mouth is negative uh, regarding my wife. It's just not this to happen. Right? Because see, again, me and my wife are in a solid relationship. So I'm not going to allow any outsiders to come in and allow what we have solid to become broken. Not going to happen, right? Again, there's boundaries. So my friends and people I'm connected to know Monique don't play about her wife. That's off limits. You need to have some boundaries. Another thing you need to do, you need to know how to just let it go. Let it go. 
Everything does not need a response. Some things is just better left unsaid. Everybody want to say everything. Everybody want to get their feelings out. Listen here, those are your feelings. And true enough, if you are in a relationship with somebody, they should validate your feelings. But guess what? Feelings and emotions begin to get the best of you. So then instead of responding with logic, you respond with your emotions. So instead of having a solution to the problem, now you've created more of a problem. Instead of mending, now it's further apart. Come on, learn to let it go. There's a time and a place for everything. Everything does not need to be addressed all the time. Got to learn to let it go. And especially because you got to know who you are dealing with. Is the person that you're dealing with, are they able to receive what you have to say or are they not able to receive it? Where is their mindset at? You know that they're not in a good headspace, then why even bring another problem to them knowing that it's just going to cause a problem in your relationship? No, let it go. Another thing, you have to avoid pushing each other's buttons. Now, you know how you just want to play tit for tat. Oh, you made me mad, so I'm going to make you mad. You did something I don't like, so I'm going to do something you don't like. Why? 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 All that's doing is creating another problem after problem. We not into creating problems. We are into solutions. This is why never personal Always purpose is more than a brand. It is a mindset. Get your mind under control. The mind is the battle. Stop allowing your emotions to get the best of you and begin using your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is a key ingredient to the never personal, always purpose mindset. All right? So let's go. Stop all that pushing each other's buttons, getting each other's mad, and now you want to, you get me mad, then I get you mad, and so now we just mad. Now, when you get me mad, instead of me trying to get you mad, I, then I might as well come at you with a different approach so that we could try to get on one accord. Because with us both being mad, that's not doing neither one of us no good. And again, why are you into making yourself or making somebody else mad? That's too much negative energy. Nobody has time for that. It's too much work to do. You got a purpose to walk in. And guess what? All that negative energy is not going to help you walk in your purpose. Avoid from pushing each other buttons. We ain't got no time for that. Okay? Now, say something came up, y'all did something to each other, then you know what? You have to be able to forgive. Yes, forgiveness is so important when it comes to relationships. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. We all say things that the other one don't like, do something that the other one don't like. So when that happens, you know what? Let's sit down. Let's have a conversation about it. I really don't like that you said this. I really don't like that you talked to me like that. I really don't like that you did this. Let's talk about it. Express how you feel in a calm, positive environment. And then what you're able to do is validate each other's feelings, right? You don't got to agree with each other. We can agree to disagree. We don't need to agree. But what we do need to do is validate how each other is feeling in order for us to be able to move on. Okay, that's what healthy relationships do. Doesn't matter if it's your spouse or your friend or your kids or your relatives. You want to be in healthy relationships. Communication is key to doing that. And not just any type of communicating. No, I mean communicating in a positive way. Not allowing your emotions to get the best of you. Because that happens. And I want you to think about every time that you allowed your emotions to get the best of you, how did that turn out for you? Did that turn out good for you or did that turn out bad? If it turned out bad for you, even just one time, then this is the perfect video for you. Wouldn't you say? All right. So the next one. And then you need to release control. Stop always feeling like you need to be in control of everything if that is you. If the other person is always feeling like they need to be in control, then again, sit down and have a conversation with that person and talk about it, how you feel. Like, you know what? I don't like that you always want to be in control. I don't like that you always do X, Y, and Z. That's where them boundaries come in at right? Uh, don't think that people are mind readers. They're not going to read your mind. And just because y'all already had that problem before, don't think that, oh, well, you should already know. We already went through that. We already had this problem. Okay. Question. 
What did you do to get past that problem? Did you talk about it? Did you work through it? Did you express how you feel? Or was everything heated and now you expect the person just to know? Or did you have a heated conversation? Because if we had a heated conversation and guess what? Nobody heard nothing. This is why you have to have a sit down to get a clear understanding of where each other is coming from, how you feel, your boundaries, and your expectations. That's a whole nother video. If you haven't watched my video on ex high expectations of others, make sure you check that video out too because that is a good one and it all relates to what we're talking about right now because we always have high expectations of people and, and guess what? Having high expectations of people is only going to let you down. So you got to accept people for who they are and how they are. Not accept people based off of who you want them to be. Okay, so now the final one. I talked about it a little bit, but this is the grand finale because like I said, this is the key ingredient to the never personal, always purpose mindset and to making sure that you stay in healthy relationships. Do you really, really want to be connected to nothing but healthy relationships? All right, you said you do. Use your emotional intelligence at all times. Not just sometimes, at all times. You have to have situational awareness. That is being aware of your surroundings, being aware of the people that you encounter, being aware of the way that your family, your friends, your spouse, and your kids, the way that their character is. You know this. So don't expect anything different from than who they are. You have to be aware of that. And knowing that, use your emotional intelligence at all times when you are dealing with that person and in that situation. Don't get mad. Don't get angry. Don't get frustrated. No. And if you do, I want you to do this. Stop. Stop means slow down. Think about the situation. Open your mind and then process the best way for you to move forward. All right, that's what I want you to do because it's so important for us to just stop, slow down, think about it, open our mind and process how we gonna move forward before we just lash out, before we just say anything out of our mouth that we cannot take back, but then we gonna be asking for forgiveness. Then we gonna be sorry that we said it, wishing that we never would have. No, don't let that be you when all you have to do is stop. Slow down, think about it, open your mind and process the situation and how you are going to proceed moving forward. I guarantee you, guarantee that if you do this, then you will see yourself beginning to mend your broken relationships, maintaining the healthy relationships that you already have. If you are ready to rebuild those broken relationships and maintain them healthy relationships, use the stop. All right, use your emotional intelligence at all times. Set those boundaries, let go of control, forgive, think positive, and avoid pushing buttons. And take responsibility for your actions. Don't minimize what you do. Don't minimize what you've done. Take responsibility for your actions. Own it so that you can move forward. All right, you guys, my name is Monique Turner. I am your purpose expert with Never Personal, Always Purpose. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. This YouTube channel will help get your mind in the right place so you can start living a life that God created you to live. You can start walking in your purpose instead of just walking. Let's go.